Okay, so the most important thing you're going to need to make a cusk trap is just a scrap piece of wood. Um, preferably um, anything longer than uh, 12 inches. And I've made two marks and this is 12 inches long and I'll explain why that's important. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a nail in each of these marks at an angle. And so I'm going to do that. Alright, so what I've done is I've taken two nails and put them right on the marks I made that are 12 inches apart and they're not really at an angle, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. So the reason I put them 12 inches apart is so that every time you wrap your line around these two nails, it'll be a foot. So then say I wrapped it 50 times, I'd know that this trap had 50 feet on it. So I'd be able to use it in 50 feet of water, where some of my traps I've wrapped 100 feet of line on so I could use it in deeper. It's just easier to count out your line to know how much is on it. Then you can just write it down and you'll have the right trap for the right depth. So yeah, the next thing you want to do is just take 40 pound tip up line and just tie it on with whatever knot you want and just wrap it around and every wrap will be a foot of line. So just it's your preference, whatever depth you want to be able to set it to. So yeah. So right here I've spooled this with a little bit greater than 50 feet of line. And what I've tied that onto is a two ounce trolling weight. And these are really good because they just sit on the bottom and there's no sliding going on. Then I've got a, a six inch steel leader and it's really good to get like snelled hooks because they're exactly six inches and if you go over that it's illegal you have to have um, your leader be six inches or under so I got six inch um, steel leaders so I know for sure then I've got it connected to like about a three aught octopus circle hook and this would be really good because they tend to swallow them normally so this will prevent a lot of gut hooking, but they somehow managed to swallow them anyway. There's no way to really avoid the cusk swallowing it. So yeah, and you have to check these traps um, every hour after you set them in Maine, but in New Hampshire, you can leave them for 24 hours after you set them. Uh, and if you catch like a lake trout on one of these or a rainbow trout, any other fish besides the cusk, you can't keep it. You have to release it. Otherwise, you're breaking the law. Another really important thing is to write your name and your phone number on it. I have it covered up for obvious reasons. But, yeah, and on all tip-ups, you do this anyways, and it's, like, required. So, yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Just make sure you do that. Don't forget. And this is the finished product. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you like this kind of video and i can make some more um yeah good luck